All right, that billion dollar plan to cap and tunnel the Kensington Expressway is moving forward. And Governor Kathy Hochul is expecting shovels in the ground as soon as this fall. The plan will create 11 new acres of park space and will hopefully achieve the goal the governor has laid out of reconnecting the Humboldt Parkway community. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. Two your sides, Nate Benson has been following this story closely for over a year and a half. And Nate, seems like the state really made a big production out of this announcement today. Yeah, that's right, Scott and Mary Alice. It was an impressive production at the Edward Saunders Community Center on Bailey Ave this afternoon. A who's who of state officials and lawmakers. As the state says, they are moving forward with this project, the latest chapter in the Book of Kensington. In the Queen City Friday, it was the tale of two sides. One side for the Kensington project. No one side no against it. And within that tale, a strong statement from Governor Hochul about the billion dollar project. Full steam ahead, we're gonna start construction later this year. In a press event aimed at showing solidarity and support for the project, in a room full of lawmakers and state agency staff who were asked to go, Governor Hochul commented on opposition to the plan, citing Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes. When she said, it's paralysis by analysis, right? You can study everything to death, and we're going to do the right thing. Referencing the second peace bridge that was dreamt up decades ago that never materialized. That's what happens when you get agitated voices who have cloud and say we need more studies. Outside of the event, no toxic tunnel. voices calling for additional studies. People keep talking about analysis paralysis and we didn't do a peace bridge. Well, they didn't do a peace bridge, but we lost the Wilkerson Mansion. We lost a row of historic homes. People don't remember what the effect of bad execution of bad plans actually results in. Terry Robinson, Betty Jean Grant, and members of the East Side Parkways Coalition stood outside the event calling for something better than a billion dollar, 4,100 foot tunnel. For Robinson, his biggest concern is the environmental impact, which the Federal Highway Administration says isn't significant enough to stop the project. He's suing the state DOT and hoping a judge rules for a further study. Five year construction project through the middle of a uh, residential neighborhood can have no short term or long term environmental impacts. It's absolutely illogical and it's immoral. Many of those opposed to the project believe, based on the existing environmental analysis, that moving forward would violate state law. A question I asked the governor. We disagree with that assessment. Now, we should learn more about Robinson's lawsuit against the DOT on Wednesday when the next court hearing is held. Live and on your side along the Kensington, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News. Nate